From being outlawed in the late 18th century to its alleged development into an almost omnipotent organization, here are eight things you didn't know about the Illuminati. Today's video was requested by Karanvir Sharma. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 8. What is it? Although a number of groups, both real and fictitious, have had the name Illuminati attributed to them, the historical origins of the name can be traced back to May the 1st, 1776. That's when Adam Weishaupt, a professor at the University of Ingolstadt in Bavaria, founded a society known as the Covenant of Perfectibility. Weishaupt based the Gradel system of his society on Freemasonry, but included his own vision and ideas. In 1778, Weishaupt would change the society's name to the Order of the Illuminati, which would later be known as the Bavarian Illuminati. The society opposed obscurantism, superstition, abuses of state power, and religious influence over public life. It promoted rationalism through mystic schools. As Weishaupt found more like-minded people, his society grew with Adolf Neig, a former Freemason, as his most effective recruiter. Naturally, their opposition of the monarchy and the clergy drew the attention of some very powerful people who believed they were plotting to overthrow the establishment. Bavarian ruler Charles Theodore, encouraged by the Catholic Church, issued an edict to outlaw secret societies like Freemasonry or the Illuminati. Number 7. Illuminati and the French Revolution Allegations of the Illuminati orchestrating major world events have been going on since the late 18th century, shortly after the order's supposed disbandment. 18th century author Augustin Barul claimed that the Bavarian Illuminati hadn't disappeared, but instead they'd infiltrated the ranks of the Freemasons. In the third volume of his memoirs illustrating the history of Jacobinism, Barul wrote that the Bavarian Illuminati secretly played a central role in the French Revolution. A book written by John Robison called Proofs of a Conspiracy Against All the Religions and Governments of Europe was published in 1797, around the same time as Barul's memoirs. Robison made similar claims that the Illuminati were behind the French Revolution. Both books became very popular and are often regarded as creating the first Illuminati conspiracy Fear of a power lurking beneath the surface started to spread among several European leaders. Although their works were later contested by historians, Robeson and Barul remain on the plausible side of theories regarding the Illuminati. Number 6. Symbolism One of the earliest Illuminati symbols was the Owl of Minerva, representative of their belief in rationalism. In fact, the earliest grades of the Illuminati were novice, minerval, and illuminated minerval. Nowadays, symbols like the pyramid, the eternal circle, or the all-seeing eye are already widely known and prevalent in our current pop culture. Famous artists like Jay-Z, Kanye West, Lady Gaga, Rihanna, or Katy Perry have all been allegedly using Illuminati symbols or hand gestures in their music videos, thus expressing their allegiance to the order. Conspiracy theorist Alex Jones even claimed that Madonna's Super Bowl halftime show was an Illuminati ritual. While it would seem foolish for members of a secret society to engage in such open displays, according to some, that was the plan all along. Conspiracy theorists claim that the Illuminati has slowly embedded its imagery in entertainment as part of its plans to gradually brainwash the population. Number 5. Where is it located? In the late 18th century, the Illuminati came to include many progressive politicians and influential intellectuals of the time. 
its gradle system and ceremonies grew more complex and members who reached the society's higher ranks were given code names and taught secret signs and passwords. In 1784, the Illuminati had anywhere from 650 to 2,500 members, many of whom were in positions of power. While the general consensus is that the society disappeared by 1787, there are those who believe it continued to grow in the shadows. Some argue that Illuminati agents have currently infiltrated almost every major government, the Vatican, Hollywood, NATO, the UN, and many other powerful organizations. According to some conspiracy theorists, the modern-day Illuminati controls virtually every aspect of our society, pulling its strings from behind the curtain. Shrouded in secrecy, the Order is believed to be responsible for anything from wide-scale terrorist attacks like 9-11 to assassinations or who becomes famous. Number 4. Agenda In absence of clear facts, speculation thrives, and this is especially true for those who permeate the Illuminati conspiracy. The supposed agenda of the secret order is to create a global government, to eradicate religion, and to control the entire population. The belief is that the Illuminati want to create an illusion of choice so that they can place everyone under surveillance. By orchestrating terrorist attacks, mass shootings, or riots, the Illuminati allegedly want to spread fear. This fear makes people demand more security and surveillance, which falls perfectly in line with the Order's agenda. Studies have revealed that at least one-third of Americans believe in the existence of some type of secret society that controls the world. Some suggest that spreading fear is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to how the Illuminati controls society. They blame the Order for encouraging drug and alcohol consumption, as well as for creating and maintaining poverty in various countries around the world. Number 3. Conspiracy within a conspiracy. Some have put forward the idea that the Illuminati order purposefully spreads conspiracy theories regarding itself. Not all existing hypotheses surrounding the existence and power of the order carry the same plausible weight. Thus, the most outrageous conspiracy theories act in favor of the Illuminati. Since people are quick to dismiss those theories, more plausible and potentially true ones fall by the wayside. One such example is Satanism that's supposedly practiced by members of the Illuminati. Traditionally, the order was intended to be focused on reason rather than superstition, so it was generally against organized religion. Early Illuminati views oppose those of the Catholic Church, which is why historically its members might have been painted as devil worshippers. Theorists have alleged that human sacrifices and other satanic rituals are performed at gatherings. The general belief seems to be that people can become famous and successful by selling their soul to the Illuminati. By allegedly allowing such ideas to flourish, the Illuminati increase their mythos, perpetrate misinformation, while their depiction as evil Satanists further contribute to spreading fear. Number 2. How Will It Kill You? According to law, the Illuminati can facilitate the rise to power and fame for whomever they choose. Yet this comes at the price of allegiance to the Order and its proposed agenda. When it comes to the reach of the Illuminati, one of the most reference moments in history is a speech made by John F. Kennedy 10 days prior to his assassination. In it, the former US president supposedly addresses the people about the existence of secret societies operating in the shadows and of their designs to manipulate the masses. Some have argued that the video found online showing the speech was actually a carefully edited version of a different JFK speech on a different topic. Nevertheless, the strange circumstances surrounding JFK's assassination have sparked the theory that he was killed by the Illuminati or some other secret society. The belief is that Kennedy, in an act of rebellion against said society, attempted to control the Federal Reserve while also threatening to reveal forbidden information. 
Many celebrity deaths that have taken place under suspicious circumstances have been attributed to the Illuminati. These include Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Heath Ledger, or Tupac Shakur. Others have taken it one step further, claiming that the Illuminati has already killed certain celebrities and replaced them with clones. Rapper Eminem has been the subject of such theories. Conspiracy theorists claim that some of his physical features, such as his eyes, ears, or facial structure, have inexplicably changed throughout the years in ways that aren't conducive with known plastic surgery. Number 1. Donald Trump and the Illuminati There are a few conspiracy theories surrounding the current US president and his potential connection to the Illuminati. The perception is split among theories, with some claiming that he is a high-ranking member that's secretly promoting the group's agenda, and others who think he might be a loose cannon rebelling against those who put him in power. Websites like Conspiracy Zone called Trump a skilled mind controller with a dangerous ego that may lead to his downfall. They believe that he is indeed a member of the Illuminati, but that he's not following their agenda, which is why his own handlers might have him assassinated. Conspiracy Zone compares this theoretical outcome to what happened to JFK. Others, like Janice and Gregory Kaigan, filed a lawsuit against Trump in September 2016, claiming that he can't run for president because he's a member of the New World Order. They believe that the outcome of the election was part of a plan going back to Theodore Roosevelt of putting a dictator in the White House regardless of what side of the conspiracy people follow. There are a few things they seem to agree on. One of them are Trump's hand gestures, which allegedly betray his connection to a secret organization. Another is the fact that his rise to power was the result of forces that only came into light when it was too late to reverse them, such as in the case of the DNC hack.